KMR Rotary. We're back. We're going to talk some BRAP. Uh, not every project I work on is a amazing full engine build high dollar awesomeness. A lot of the times I'm working on individual components. It may be port matching, lapping, cleaning. In this case, uh, recovering a component that was potentially a loss. This was a very high mileage FD3S RX7 center plate. It had excessive corrosion and wear around the water jacket areas and had been involved in a knowing, knowing that it had been excessively overheated. So kind of a knowingly big issue, potential warpage. And uh, at first we thought we were just going to lap this component, but when we got it, we realized that it had other issues as well. Not only was there this excessive wear, um, water jacket uh, issues, but the porting was, let's just say, not favorable, as the two ports from side to side didn't even match, and that can definitely cause tunability issues. So we talked to the customer. Uh, new is very expensive. We were able to resolve this with lapping, cleaning, and uh, doing a little bit of a port match to bring these two port shapes back into an equal pair of ports. You definitely don't want mismatch port sizes when it comes to any rotary housings, but essentially when you're dealing with your primaries, you obviously want to keep those the same. That's really what's going to bring that motor into that bottom end, mid-range, keep velocity up. And so right away, I'll talk about how big this port is. Um, I'm working on some matching. I just started cleaning it up here when I thought to myself, I got a video of this. But you can see that we're actually going larger to balance it out. That's just what we have to do. And this is going to hurt some of the bottom end. Now, luckily enough, this is a, a race component. It's for a race car, so the customer is not expecting super long lifespan. He wants a season out of it. And he's going for big horsepower numbers on the top end. So for him, this is a win-win. It's cheaper than getting a new component. We're helping him get his motor back together after a failure. And uh, we're able to equalize these ports and potentially give him some more airflow on the top end, which he was all for. But I find it interesting, you know, there's always a case-by-case -case nature when it comes to rotary components. Um, these center housings or rotary plates in general are getting more and more expensive. So depending on the type of failure that occurs and what needs to be done to, you know, basically refurbish these components for whatever they're needed to be used in is becoming more and more viable. Um, you know, we always want to make sure that we're not taking off excessive material. Obviously, with our porting, when we're going big like this, we do have water jacket and water cavities underneath. So some of these areas are not going to be an excessively deep port. It's more about matching up the port timing. So the tunability, airflow, and port flow timing balance is correct between rotor one and rotor two. So just taking a look at, at something that a lot of the times probably would have been thrown away. I should have taken some video beforehand, just excessive wear, corrosion, burn marks, heat shrinkage around the exhaust port area, but we've been able to bring that back. We're back flat again. That was our first goal. Make sure we can get flat. And now we're going to port match this up before it probably goes back on the table one more time to maybe reduce just a little more of that wear. Um, but with this particular housing, we're not going to be able to remove all of that wear. We're more, we were more concerned about the port match and the sealing of the water jackets. So I hope, you know, everybody enjoys these types of videos, technical discussions as to why we do things, what can be saved, and what the impacts are. In this case, obviously, it does have a limited total lifespan, so down the road, the customer will have to replace this. Um, and we are sacrificing some bottom end, but these are all known quantities. It's being done for a reason, um, and we did have to basically invent this port. I've done plenty of monster ports on primaries and secondaries, so we have a multitude of templates in-house that we use to help balance things, create new things, and we look forward to the feedback we get on this particular motor, and we're always happy to help people save their components and get those rotary projects going, because you can't get the rotary project back on the road if you don't have the components to fix it. That's what we're all about. KMR. Fixing rotaries, loving the brap.
I'm going to get back to grinding. That's what we got to do. I'm out. That's a wrap.